Inside Story. Our mission story this week is again presented by Andrew McChesney of Adventist Mission. It's titled Gift of Time. Tracy Lee, a mother of four living near Fort Worth, Texas, wondered what gift she could give to God. She didn't have much money, and she has struggled for years with attention deficit disorder. But between homeschooling and five pets, she realized that she had one thing that she could dedicate to the Lord, time. So Tracy volunteered to correspond with inmates through a prison ministries program at Grandview Seventh-day Adventist Church in Grandview, Texas. The more I did it, the more I enjoyed it, Tracy said. I felt like I was making a difference, so I have continued doing it. Six years later, she is responsible for a prison ministries program larger than her church of about 35 members. She guides dozens of inmates through Bible correspondence lessons every week and maintains contact with about 300 people. It is unclear how many people have been baptised through her work, but several inmates have described big changes in their lives. One inmate wrote that a family member exclaimed during a prison visit, What did you do? I see something different about you. There is like a glow about you. I got an opportunity to witness to this person because he saw a difference in me, the inmate wrote to Tracy. Thank you for taking the time to teach me. Tracy, 46, was raised in a Sunday church, got married and spent several years visiting various churches, trying to find a place to grow her children. One day she was browsing at a half-priced bookstore with her eldest son Kyle when a customer struck up a conversation. He mentioned Grandview as a church and invited us to come try it out, Tracy said. The family attended a couple of church concerts and began to attend worship services on Saturday. About seven months after joining the church, Tracy volunteered to help with prison ministries. The prison work not only gives her joy, but also has helped her control the attention deficit disorder. Tracy said she is thrilled that it has forced her to stop procrastinating and to organise her week in such a way that she can assist the inmates in a timely manner and care for her family at the same time. Tracy still doesn't have much money, but she is eager to keep giving her time. That's what I feel that I need to give, she said. And there's a lovely photo of here of Tracy. You have been listening to a reading of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide by Dr. Percy Harold from Queensland, Australia. This service is brought to you by Hope Channel, the Sabbath School Department and Christian Services for the Blind. Remember, God is always faithful.